All right, this isn't part of the video, but I wanted to do a joke for the intro, so I was, I'm was i going to do this one. Okay, everyone get ready. Why do we draw just to suffer? And that was the joke. So I'll come back in like 20 minutes when I actually want to sit down and do the voiceover for this because this is a 20-minute long video. Oops, I did it, did it again, Brittany. Uh, free Brittany. She's under the conservatory. I can't start. I'm not starting the voiceover right now. I'm doing the small intro bit, and I will be back. I I just I'll be back. Two seconds. All right, I'm back. I heard you B Woods was looking for me. All right, we're doing this. Hey guys, welcome back to another D and D draws video. Today I'm drawing the new character in the new upcoming series that's yet to be done. Uh, so we don't know what's called yet. Uh, but this is gonna be my character. No name yet. This is a no named guy. I kind of just. Well, it wouldn't be a D and D draws if I hadn't already messed up. I didn't plan on recording this, but halfway through it, uh, like doing it, I was like, "Oh shit, this kind of dope." So I guess I gotta take the rope out, uh, and now we're recording it. So, and as we all know, only all, all my film cameras use rope as opposed to film. So we're getting into these sandals. I'm in love with these slut pants. These pants are everything. If I end up doing with these pants, I put tights underneath. But if you wore these pants without tights, dude, it would be so sliptacular. And we're flipping it, making sure it's all even. But I don't know why I did that, because it's pretty much not even helping me in the slightest. God. Um, what is happening here? I'm really just doing the feet. This took two hours for me to do, which is impressive, because I didn't go into this with a plan. I've been kind of have, like... A character design thing right now where I put like a, a it's very Grecian ancient Greece ancient Grecian um, and it has like these like it's all caught in the middle with like a girdle it, I just think it looks cool I just think and that's just how I feel and I just think it looks cool and that's how I feel uh, love with my line art I'm doing something really rare with my line art almost never do it these days but I'm not using my 8-bit line art I'm using my pen I'm going in there and I'm getting those strokes. Do you see? I'm going to have to do this more often. I miss my strokes. I miss using strokes in my art. I was like, for a while, I was just using uh, the 8-bit one because it just it took the pressure off. I didn't have to worry about stroke lines, like the thickness. And I could sort of just vibe and be like, haha, it's part of the style. But I like the higher resolution. I like, I like how smooth it feels, smooth it looks, smooth it tastes. When I'm looking at the final product here, I'm like, yeah, okay, I did that. And when I'm also thinking about the final product, I'm like, okay, this tastes good, but can I get a side of fries with that? And that's probably because I haven't eaten anything today, because I it is 2 p.m. I woke up, my sleep schedule's been immaculate. Go to sleep at 12, maybe at 1, and then I wake up at like... Eight, seven, literally 7 in the morning every day I've been waking up, and it's awful. I hate waking up that early, because no one's up. I can't do anything with no one. I'm all, all my friends are, all my friends can only hang out with me at nighttime. It's ridiculous. But this is a 20 minute video, going back to that. We're gonna be bouncing and moving and shaking and popping and locking throughout this. We're moving on those sandals. Uh, beautiful sandals, I love the design. We're not gonna talk about the design. No one comes here to look at the design. The design is subpar to what I'm saying. So what I'm going to be saying is, my sleep schedule's been immaculate, and that's about it. Uh, I'm playing Muck. Muck is a free-to-play game on Steam. Wow, this is really just me going down everything. Let's stop with that. Let's bring it back a second to what's going on on the stream. So we have these like cool flip-flop floppies. This is a D&D &D character. Let's get back on track with that. So, D&D. What do I'm thinking for a class here? I'm thinking warlock. I'm thinking druid. I'm thinking alchemist because I've never seen an alchemist in D and D, and I want to see how that sort of played out. Like what ingredient hunting kind of looks for. So there we go. This man has horns because it's going with my whole my whole aesthetic right now, where I put horns on a bunch of guys, and you can't see it, but underneath the horns is actually uh, deer ears. Uh, I just felt like it, okay? I just felt a little frisky with it. I felt like I put some deer ears on it. On it. Uh, potions, there's gonna be, uh, I don't know, can we get some, can we get the other layer on, please? I'm doing the arm here. Give me that, mm, my arm, that arm is so nice, oozy, juicy, and very fluid. 
Can we get to the putting the other filter? Can we get the other layer on? Can we bring the other layer in? I'd like to see... What am I talking about? We were talking about... Ugh, not that. Not all, where all that uh, bunchled up shirt is. That's just too much. It's just too much. Thank you. Thank you for getting rid of it. Oh my god. It's we, Great minds think alike. Um... What is the, I'm thinking druid because you know it's very druidy. The potions I want to talk about the potions on the belt, and I want to talk. I think my color theory for this when we get to the coloring is immaculate. I think I did an amazing job with the color theory. I'm gonna be this guy has some grapes on his shoulder and some grapes on his staff. He's gonna give me that, he's gonna give you your foresty, but he's gonna give you your foresty. I wanted it to be like Dionysus isn't a god of uh plants he's a god of the party so if he has plants on it bitch make it a fucking party plant it's party grapes confetti grapes let's go i love this this is everything i so i had these three colors because i was sketching i was randomly sketching with a yellow a purple and i started doing line art with this uh red color and i'm like what an immaculate color scheme and then we're gonna add some like nice like light blue like cyan light like almost greenish blue with it and it's just gonna get your life together it's gonna put it all together in such a way that makes you feel something and it makes me feel like he's a party animal it makes me feel like he's living his best life i'm thinking druid that's why i'm thinking druid because he's very it's very giving me druid but i don't know i also don't have a name for this guy what else can i talk about this guy i don't know it really is like i was really surprised because I did not expect it to be, like, 20 minutes. And I didn't even, like, record the sketch. Because, like, when I do my other... Uh, when I did the other videos, they were, like, 15 minutes. And they took me maybe an hour and a half to do. Uh, so, I, like... So, I was, like, okay. Maybe we can condense this video down to being, like, 15 minutes. So, I make the... Reduce the time by, like, 900% with the speed. You know how you do that for speed paints. If you speed paint all there. My little speed painters. Uh, and then, but it makes, it makes everything go by so fast that you don't have, like, a time to react. Wow, I'm really, I just, I'm remembering myself what I was thinking, my emotions going through this process. I was like, oh my god, this is good, but the potions, how am I gonna line the potions? Oh my god, I don't even want to think about the potions. I know I want to put a big circle for the potions, I'm doing the potions now. I wanted to have it in, like, a big to smaller order to sort of give more, to make the eye sort of, like, glide by i have never been like oh my god sean you're a character designer then with this piece this piece is probably my magnum opus on how good it is i want to apologize for my behavior earlier in this video i was talking about muck i was bringing in conversations i needed to bring in here it's muck like hockey puck on steam i'm very into it it's a good game but that's not what we're talking about here today i need to keep myself on track on boat so we're on the boat on the water giving you full staff realness look at this staff playing with my line art here making sure this is uh solid is it good i think it's good i think it worked out i love the grapes the confetti grapes are my favorite part of this whole piece uh you're gonna love what this uh sort of when we keep going uh lining this thing you're gonna love what it turns into i just think it's so funny yeah, a little notch in there. It's like, so now I'm like, I could be any, because like you could have the warlock, uh, sorcerer, because it's a staff. You could have the, um, what is his name? The druid, the druid, because he has a druid staff. Ugh. I just need to know, you know? I want to be like an alchemist, because like the potions, the potion bottles, then he like gets grapes and like other fruits and stuff. We're going to be adding some moss here. But we added in this group, we add all our grass and green just so we know that it's grass and what it needs to be and then we change that color up this isn't even the final line art color oh no it is it is the final line art color who wrote these notes hello all right well well they find out who wrote these notes let's figure out what's going on in this piece again You're adding that moss i want to add some you want to add some like line of action you want to like oh it's going over there the lines are oh yeah and then we're gonna do this and this is gonna be a waste of my time because why because i was like oh maybe i'll put it in the above layer to like sort of mimic what's happening on the thing but i was just like cut it you need to cut it 
not this. I just don't think it looked good. Like, I sure, I gave it a few more leaves, but in the end, does it even matter? Yeah, that's me deciding that I'm wasting my time, me changing the line art color. Wait, so is it not the final line art color? Wait, who wrote these notes? Shit. All right, got to go in, got to go in. Okay, making a whole thing purple so we can do line art. At this point, I'm thinking my color scheme. I'm like, maybe I'm thinking about my color scheme. I'm like, let's start with the, ooh, not this purple though. This line art purple makes this, uh, makes the yellow look like a, it's a, it's a sour mustard, like a dark honey mustard, which is like, okay on some things, but we're gonna get you, we're gonna get your life with this yellow. This yellow isn't even at its greatest yet. I think it's something to do with the mixture of like the bluish pigment in the purple uh, for the line art and the how yellow it is and it's making like a sort of greenish outline around it so it's sort of like souring it you know and I'm drawing in those tights I love I am in love with what this looks like it looks amazing because it can be seen as like you have a bracer underneath it's when the I when I say I outdid myself with the with the coloring here, I will give myself a full pat on the back, even though from this angle here, it's giving me a little Kill Bill. But from any other angle, it doesn't look like Kill Bill. When we get the reds in this piece, oh yeah, I'm, one second. <clears throat> Alright, done coughing. Um, hell, uh, what am I doing here? I'm trying to figure out colors. My brain hadn't quite gotten to the Nirvana level that it needed to be to achieve these good color schemes. This is when I had the amazing idea to put in this beautiful blue color. And this blue color really just makes, it really makes the red when we add it just so good. Like, so good. Adding the skin here. Um, since I was thinking, oh my god, my throat. Can I talk for two seconds, throat, before you itch? Thank you, let me talk. I wanted to make his skin a little bit more tan so that he's I wanted him to be like oh he's out in the sun because he's getting ingredients uh, when we get into when we really get into it I don't know if you saw with the sketch yet oh these potions also turn out fire uh, when we get to the with I don't know if you see in the sketch yet but the there's a bear summon uh, I can, I, I'm pretty sure in a warlock and in druid I can get animal summons. I don't know if they can be bears, but it, it also looks like I'm casting an illusion. So, <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm so, I guess I'm dehydrated. Oh my god, when's the last time I drank something? Jesus. That red, I love that red. Did we change the line art? We did. But is this even the final line art? It looks more like it. My favorite part about this piece is how I've balanced the colors up and down the piece. We're going to be changing the, uh, yeah, I think we're doing it now, right? Gold. So we make the hair purple, the leaves blue, the horns golden, and the eyes red. So on the top half of the head, we have an extremely uh, good uh, balance of all four colors that are going to be used throughout the rest of the piece. Then we come to the uh, attraction, which is the, the brochette. Uh, which is the grapes with the red uh, robe and it's going red yellow blue uh, purple and then going blue yellow purple red so it says it's just br about bringing all those colors around different parts of the design uh, for this weapon this was more of a this weapon echoes the outfit in how the sash is red and then the blade itself is red this is me doing something dumb that we're not going to continue because no line art on those we just make them look good now, oh my god, this is the best part. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Do you know what the rock is cooking? Pterodactyl head. It's a pterodactyl staff. Oh. And like, maybe he like... I'm like, I'm thinking about the possibilities of lore with this. Like, I have so much time until I have to like write the lore. I just wanted to design down first. This is how I write my characters. I start with like an iconic, uh, you know design and then I, I take elements of the design and I put it into the story those are the little ear uh the deer ears oh my gosh so like the top I want it so we have red 
on the shoulder and uh, shoulder and collarbone line, and then we have red on the sandals. So we have red high and red low, and then we have red in the center of the waist with the potions. So that's like bringing red all over, and then we have red in the eyes. So four points of red, uh, yellow. There's enough yellow points, one on the top of the head, one on the chest and the legs. And that's the legs are more than enough yellow for the bottom part. So it's just about finding your balance of things. The blue, we have blues in the sandals, we have blues in the leaves, and we have blues dividing up the middle section. So we have plenty of blues in there. Honestly, I might... I like the blues in the middle section, but if you want, if you like that's too much blue, you could replace that with the yellow again, and that would be fine to sort of give it a more gold texture. But that's just like it, it just depends on how much. I personally don't think it's too much blue. I like that blue there, but if you thought that was too much blue, you could definitely do something like that. Look at me now trying to give advice as to what's happening. I love the transparent effect I got on the uh, bottles, I think I did a good job with that. Um, we're doing some good shading here. That left leg shading, my left, uh, the character's right leg. Uh, it's just delicioso, you know? And Dora taught me that one, so. I think, and then we're gonna get to the bear apparition, which is, like, soon, I think. And then I just, like, I don't draw creepy things. And, like, I just done a quick sketch for it, and then another quick sketch for it, and then the line art. And I think I did a pretty good job. Like I was taking I, I sourced back to like doll making videos where I watched some uh, I watched the channel Delightful make her werewolf so I knew what the inside of like a, a wolf's mouth looks like and I put that just like on a bear. And like it's giving me very like Ardeo skin. Like if you play Smite, like the goddess Ardeo, like this could be like one of the, this could be a skin easily transplanted onto her because it has her staff, uh, and then it has a bear form, and then the bear form ability, like and it even shows like a potential magical ability when we put the bear in because there's like I do magical effects around it. I don't know, dog. I'm just all I'm saying is I'm winning with this one. This one is definitely showing all my my capabilities. And this is a new era for the D and D draws stuff, because like now the now it's the art's gonna look amazing. Like I'm gonna we're gonna have such good looking art now because like I've refined refined my style even more. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of the video of what you thought. Ooh, we get into the bear. Oh, no, never mind. We're making it glow first. This I make this uh sort of like cyan ivy glow. I think I'll do druid uh maybe druid alchemist uh dual class it a little bit. See how much I don't even know if alchemist is a real thing. I changed the eye to blue just to because like the it just felt better, honestly. We had red in there, but it was. Oh yeah, okay. So this is my first. This is my second sketch. I'm. S so we're getting all the everything we needs on the floors. This is bear. This is my ba This is my bear apparition. He's like a little psycho. Oh, is that? Oh, who? By the way, who needs music underneath their things to get a copyright strike? Dog, just talk for the whole twenty minutes. It's not that hard. Oh, that yeah. Look at this bear. Ooh, this is we're doing line art now, boys. This is the full line art of this bear. Ooh, it's so good. It's so clean. Look at those claws. Oh, and then we do a little background for this too, but it's more just a posing thing. Ooh, these teeth. I, I you told you already, I used uh, wolf uh, teeth for uh, reference for these bad boys. I remember the canine. They have the little uh, scars in there, little divots. Oh, and the little gummies. I think the gums do everything for this mouth, dog. If you ever wanted to draw, like, an animal mouth, oh, make it pink. Make it, make it red. We need more red in the design to even this out. So the the magic is red. That's how we're evening. If you ever if you ever feel like you're lacking a color in your design, make whatever magic that character does or whatever special ability that character does the color that it's lacking. Yeah, and now we're putting some pink things down. It's my pink period, but not like that. Come on. All right. All 
All right. Oh, and I'm not gonna do the thing where we scroll from bottom to up with the final image. I'll just post the final image when this like at the end of this video. I know I didn't do it for Gerald's, and I'm sorry about it. Uh, but sorry, not sorry about it. It's my video. I that's just the effort I felt like doing that day. All right, this is it. I haven't put it up yet, but I assure you, it should be up, and you're looking at it right now. All right. Well. Follow me on Twitter at Sean is on tweets where I post everything. Goodbye.